So I've been playing Apex Legends a little while now, and I've watched a few videos on how people rate the Legends, and one thing I can't get my head around is how people always pass up on Revenant. For me personally, he's one of those Legends where if you use him correctly, he can be so deadly in the right hands. Once you get used to his abilities, I really think that he can be a big game changer. And let me explain to you why. Just quickly, if you do enjoy this video and you like this Apex Legends content that's coming to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to like the video, and make sure to hit that bell notification so you're always notified when I upload a video and you can come back for some more. So let's first talk about his passive which is called Stalker and basically what this lets you do is crouch walk faster and climb walls higher. The crouch walk faster is brilliant, especially when you're trying to sneak up on an enemy. You can crouch walk up there and make almost no sound whatsoever. And you're not going to be moving like a snail when you get up there. So I think this is a really overlooked ability. And the next one, climbing walls higher. If you use this correctly, this can win you so many gunfights. As you all know, high ground in gunfights is the number one thing that's probably going to win you a gunfight most of the time. So if your enemy is up in high ground and you're on the low ground, especially if they're in a building, you can climb up on sides where they would never ever expect you and most of the time you're just going to be shooting them in the back because they don't even expect you to be there. This is a really great thing to abuse during gunfights and if you put yourselves in the right situation you're going to win gunfights all the time just using this passive ability. Plus the height that you can go with this passive ability is absolutely insane. I don't think there's many buildings or places on any of the maps where you're not going to be able to climb up on. So then we go on to the tactical and again I think this is one of the most underrated tacticals in the entire game. And this is called Silence. And what this does is it throws like a little red ball. And when it goes near an enemy, it deals a little bit of damage. And then it disables all of their tacticals. Now, the reason this is so good is because the majority of the time, if you're going to lose a fight, is because you're getting outplayed by someone who knows how to use their legend really well. So, for example, look at people that main Horizon. They're really, really good with a gravity lift because they'll just throw the gravity lift and beam you as they're going up in the air. Because if you just hit a couple of bullets, throw this tactical down, it disables all all of their tacticals and all they've got to do is rely on their gun skill to get them out of the fight so as long as you can hit your shots you're going to win that fight it basically just puts you on a bit of a level playing field where it's literally just going to be gun beat gun there's no tacticals because you've disabled theirs and sometimes you'll find as well that people start trying to spam the tactical and they don't realize why they can't use it and instead of concentrating on trying to shoot you they're concentrating on why they can't use the tactical and it just puts people off and another great thing that you can use this for is it actually puts a little bit of a flash on their screen so if you use this mid fight it acts as almost like a little flashbang effect so if you time this correctly it can work extremely well in gunfights and win you a hell of a lot of gunfights as well and then lastly we move on to his ultimate which is death totem now yeah this isn't the most brilliant ability in the world but you just gotta know when to use it most of the time gunfights happen like this you get in a 3v3 you're trying to shoot each other and then when one person off one of the teams gets downed then you turn it into a 3v2 a team of three will tend to push because they know the majority of the time the 3v2 is going to win and how you can use the death totem to your advantage is throw that death totem down at the start of the fight all three of you push in and just literally just focus one person off the enemy team even though you've got no shields during the death totem most of the time as long as you play it right you're going to be able to down at least one of the people off that enemy team and once you have done that you all die get returned back to the totem and then you've got a 3v2 on your hands you're all full shield because you've not wasted any of your shields you can all just re-push in and then you've got a 3v2 on your hand you can win that fight with ease this works especially well at the end game when there's you and another squad left you can take out that one person the enemy team get a bit worried because they're like well now we've got to win a 2v3 and you can all just push in together and it works really, really well. I think if you use this correctly, it is massively overlooked on how strong it can be to put a gunfight in your favour. Now, I've been talking about all the good things. Now, let me just go over a couple of the bad points about him. Because there are some bad points, and yeah, there are reasons why people don't use him. So, one of the biggest points why people don't use him is literally just how big this character is. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing if it was like Gibraltar, caustic something like that because they have the 15 percent taking less damage from bullets so they've got a little bit more health to counteract how big the characters are however revenant doesn't have this and with none of his abilities being revolved around movement this means that if you get stuck in the open you're going to have a really tough time getting out of that situation so that just means you've got to play a little bit smarter when you play him you've got to make sure that you're always in the right position you've got to make sure that when you're taking a gunfight you've got a little bit of cover that you can duck behind if you need to so you can shield back up 
because if you do get caught out in the open you're really going to get punished for it but in a way i think this will make you a better player because it's going to punish you if you make bad plays so you're going to be forced to make good ones and that's not a bad thing because that's just going to make you improve and it's going to make you make good plays so then if you do play another character you're going to be making those great plays anyway and you might have something that might even edge the fight your way even more so overall that's why i think that revenant is an absolutely amazing legend and i don't think that he should be overlooked as much as he is yeah i think he could do with a little bit of a buff even if that is just add the 15 percent take less damage whatever it is called i don't know what it's called just so that when he gets in a gunfight he doesn't take as much damage because of how big his character is but let me know what you guys think of him i think he's a really great character i really enjoy playing him i'm probably going to play him a ton more but let me know if there's any legends that you enjoy playing any that you think i need to try out let me know down in the comments like i say i am pretty new to this game so let me know thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one